financial markets, cryptocurrency, gold and silver, world news. Fair to say you simply flooded the system with money. Yes, we did, we did. That's another way to think about it. We did, we did. Where does it come from? You're just printing. We print it digitally. Digitally. And we do that by buying treasury bills. That actually increases the money supply. Financial turmoil explained. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good day and welcome to the show on this Friday, the 17th of June, 2022. Thank you for tuning in. Glad to have you guys here. Now, you remember we did pets? We had pets before? This show, I'm going to talk about in the start of this show, what a great thing it is to have a pet if there's going to be a SHTF. And also, I'm going to talk about how we're going to do pets again. And if you don't know what that is, on our channel, people send in their pictures of their pets. And I post them on here. Uh, we're going to start on July 1st and extend it right out through the July 4th weekend. Uh, or, or the week of the July 4th week. And uh, send it, I'll give you guys the uh, email address then. I'll post it in uh, my uh, show. Of where to send your pet pictures and stuff the, when when we get to July 1st so on my July 1st show I'll uh, and anyway listen guys I'll, I'll tell you why it's a great thing to have a pet during a shift I guess that's what you call it you call it a shift is you know uh, can you imagine going back to caveman times you know so you got you got Herman the caveman sitting over there in the corner of the cave. And his lights are out. He hasn't got any lights because the light bulb hasn't been invented yet. Thomas Edison hasn't been born yet. So he's in his cave. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. So for some reason or another, he stumbles along in his place where he lives and he finds a cub of a saber-toothed tiger. Takes it home and he raises it. You know? And it's not boring evenings anymore then when he's got his saber tooth, baby saber tooth tiger. He's just like, Martha, look at this little baby saber tooth. Look what he can do. Isn't he cute when he rolls over like that? All this kind of stuff, you know? It, since caveman days, you know, pets have been providing us with entertainment. They are, honest to gosh, if you're stuck someplace and you know an shtf might be an awful lot like the lockdowns in a lot of ways except imagine the lockdowns if there's no power in telecommunication now see during the lockdowns we had power in telecommunications telecommunications being your computer comes on you know your internet and your lights, you know, that's, we had all that. But if it's an end of the world kind of scenario, where just something major has went wrong in the system, you know, or a multi multitude of issues, maybe a, a whole bunch of complex issues have all come together at the same time, and now the power's out and you're sitting at home and you got nothing to do. You're going to be surprised. You never used to notice those pets if you've got pets now. You never used to notice them. You used to be watching your computer, or you'd be making dinner, and you'd be cooking on the stove, or you'd somebody be calling you up on the phone, or whatever, and your pet would be dancing around on the floor doing all these funny tricks, and you didn't notice. But suddenly, now that all the other stuff's out, the lights are out, the uh, uh, telephone's dead and everything else, and you're sitting there, and you are so bored, you don't know what to do with yourself. But all of a sudden now, your pet starts to do his antics, his little tricks and stuff, you know. And you're like, wow, look at what he can do. And the pet's over there like, look at what I can do. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're both having a good time. You got a smile on your face, you know, and you're enjoying life, you know. You and the pet. And they enjoy the extra attention, let me tell you, from you. That they normally didn't get before when you all everything was up and running, you know. Awful good pets to have in a SHTF, you know, a dog. 
Now think about that for a minute. Anybody's prowling around outside or anything like that, the dog's head goes up. Especially when all the telecommunications goes dead. Okay? Phone's not working anymore. TV's not working anymore. Now, your dog, back in these times right here, his attention to what's going on in the environment around him is taken away. He, he, you got your television blaring real loud. He's just like you. He can't hear what's going on. If the television's up like to a nine, you know, and the volume's just booming some music on there, your dog's going to be oblivious to what's going on outside your house because he can't hear it either because you've got all these distractions going on. But when the shift comes, everything goes dead. The telephone goes dead. The phone goes dead. Everything's turned off. There's no electrical wires humming anymore, you know. So these appliances, they put off high-pitched noises that dogs and stuff can hear. You can't hear. It's all turned off now, though. There's a power's dead. That dog's ears be perked up. If anybody's around prowling outside your house, his head will pick up. And you hear a woof out of him. Woof. He gives you an alert that there's somebody out there. Right? Now, cats love cats and everything. And one of the things that things you have to take into consideration with a dog is you got to feed dog most dogs anyway some dogs will forage you know but most dogs you have to feed and they eat quite a bit more than a cat uh, in a shit like in an shhtf that right now that's not a consideration not much anyway but they're an shhtf that might be a huge consideration but on the other hand you know your cat's not going to watch like the dog does but your cat, you let your cat outdoors, your cat's going to probably try to feed itself. It'll try, and it might even bring home some for you. <laughs> just kidding, you know. I was just joking, but cats do like to bring home stuff and lay it down on the porch. They do that. It's just instinctual. That's just something cats do. It's in their nature. Uh, they're basically telling you, look, I can feed myself. Ha, ha, ha. You know, I'm a cat. <laughs> I love them both, dogs and cats. And you know, ferrets are a really nice pet, too. Uh, they're very intelligent. A lot of people don't know that, but they make an excellent pet. You know, uh, ferrets and weasels. and uh, Some people have guinea pigs, and other people have uh, rabbits. And Anyway, you guys, all your pets. I'm going to get you guys to send in your pet photos on July 1st. You know, and uh, we'll sort through them. So we're going to run through right now and do a quick run through on the markets and what happened today in the markets. And we're going to start the charts right here. Take a look. First thing we're going to take a look at is the silver price today at 26, 21, 26 would have been nice, wouldn't it? But no, 21.64. It's really doing well. Gold and silver both are really doing well considering the crisis that's going on. They're really holding their own well. Gold at 1839. Now, uh, this is where it finished. It's done for the weekend. And now let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's down 38 points on the day. It closed the weekend at 29,888. So it was down under 30,000. I told you guys, I think the Fed's going to turn somewhere in the 20s here. I, I said 26. Uh, well, we're only 29, not 8 now. I said they're going to turn. I was predicting at 26. But maybe they'll go a bit lower. We'll have to wait and see. If they wait until the market's down around 40%, that's where I predicted. If it goes down 40% from its peak, which was 36,000 and change, then we're probably going to have that thing I told you about, that uh, crisis caused by a freeze in the credit markets. It frees all interbank lending and everything, and, and it could cause you endless amounts of problems trying to get your money out of the bank if that happened. Because basically, that I, if the financial system freezes, they don't know who owns what at a certain point. It's like there's so many transactions going through simultaneously, all these derivatives go pop, 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 pop. That it's kind of like, hey, you know, what the heck's going on? Who owns this? Who owns that? Well, he don't own that anymore as of five minutes ago. 
Oh, yeah, he was a rich man. Five minutes ago, he's got nothing. And then, then it spreads to the next guy and to the next guy because they're all interconnected. See? Anyway, that's what happens in a credit freeze. So this, this goes down too low. Anyway, let's move on. Take a look at uh, cryptos. Uh, 893 billion. Yeah, I think I did that, didn't I? All right, 20,566 right now. Uh, got my charts a little bit mixed up here. Uh, move index today. 133.75. And uh, did we do oil. Yeah, that's the one we didn't do. Crude oil was uh, down uh, $7.11. That's a huge move one day. Uh, they will probably, if that continues to stay at this new price, they probably will have to adjust, make an adjustment at the pump. Otherwise, they're ripping you off big time if they don't. Bonds and rates. Uh, we're looking at uh, fallen fall yields on the long end. Uh, uh, the U.S. 10 years at 3.23. It's fell 7.4 basis points. And the U.S. 30 years at 3.28. It's fell 7.9 basis points. Uh, now for the U.S. dollar index at 104.65. Thank you guys for listening to my show. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the very next episode. You guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye.